National Geographic Channel presents an exclusive deeper dive into cosmos. Come with me. I often get asked, what is it like to follow in Carl Sagan's footsteps or to fill his shoes? I thought long and hard about that question. And I realized, no, I'm not filling his shoes. You can't fill his shoes. What I know I can do is fill my own shoes <laughs> and I can fill those really well. It was a very easy decision to pick Neil as the new host of Cosmos because I noticed something which was very Carl-like. Uh, it was a passion to communicate, to connect, to share the knowledge that he had. Neil is a, a phenomenal teacher. He can present something with such flair and such passion and, and such a, a theatrical uh, streak. He is the heir apparent to Carl Sagan, as far as we're all concerned. We are coming out of a period of real hostility towards science. Science has been a kind of priesthood for the elite with a kind of special jargon that no one else could understand. If you want to connect with people, if you want to break down that resistance to accepting science, you have to be willing to really open yourself up and connect, and Neil has that. As host of the series, one can reflect on my task in many ways. Am I filling the shoes of Paul Sagan who preceded me? Am I taking a torch that he handed to me? I like the torch analogy. That torch continues, passing from one generation to the next and it's a privilege and an honor to be so associated.